This is a brief overview on getting to know your digital camera. Here we've got the on and off button. On and off. Here we've got the, the camera for still images and down below that is the video images. This camera book takes both still and video images. This is the mode dial. You turn it from the auto option to the next. Turn it up to P for the program option, and then you turn it up to S for the shutter option, and the A for aperture option for capturing your images. Both auto and program turn your camera into a automatic point and shoot camera. The camera makes all the decisions for you depending on the lighting situation that it finds itself in. When you go to shutter priority, you set the shutter speed either high or low depending on the situation that you're in and what you're taking pictures of. If you're at a sporting event or something, some place where there's a lot of action and you want to stop the action, then you need a high shutter speed and the camera will use that shutter speed and adjust the aperture to get you the proper exposure with that shutter speed. If it's high, if it's a situation where you want motion in the pictures, then you use a slow shutter speed. Again, high, sh high shutter speed for action photos. Aperture priority. This controls your depth of field where you've got the foreground and background in focus with a very large depth of field, or you have a very short depth of field or only the object that you're focused on is in focus and the foreground and the background are out of focus. Then there are, here is U2 and U1. These are shutter speed and f-stop combinations that you have chosen for a specific situation so that you can capture the images that you want. Over here, you can adjust the EV, which means you can control, leave the shutter speed and f-stop like it is, but you can adjust the exposure depending on the lighting situation. This button here is ISO. This allows you to push down on the ISO and rotate this button in the back of the camera to decrease or increase the ISO of your camera. This little indicator here is the point in your camera body where your image is being focused and captured right in the camera. When you're a beginner and this is a new camera to you, you're going to be using auto or program. You're turning your camera into a point and shoot camera. This is the quickest and easiest place to work and find out how to enjoy and appreciate your camera and come away with good pictures. This is my personal choice that I use with this camera. This is a wrist strap. I don't like a neck strap with the camera. I use this and then I put it, my wrist through here, and then I carry the camera on the wrist strap. And then it gives me flexibility and ease of use and control of the camera. And then we, I have my lens cap on one of the connectors for a neck strap so that I don't lose my lens cap. I keep it there. I find that that's the best way to deal with this so I'm not always looking for the lens cap. When you have the camera set on video up here where you see the movie camera, up here is a red button. The red button starts the recording feature of your video camera. You push down on this button and you can shoot video. Because this is a still camera, the limit for a still camera is 30 minutes. You can capture up to 30 minutes of video. The only things that are limiting you with your turning this into video camera is the amount of memory you've got on your memory card and if your battery is charged enough to power the camera for the 30 minutes. I hope this video has been helpful as an introduction on how to use your camera. If you have additional questions, please bring them to the next class.